Ryan Dynamite Day, Snooker Shootout Champion 2021. How pleased are you with how today's gone? Oh, it could have gone better, obviously. I'm uh, made up. It's, uh, it's a funny event, you know, but uh, I'm delighted to have won. It's one of the toughest events to win, perhaps, on the tour. And you've had a couple of close calls. I mean, the match against Zhao Yulong, for instance, you had to effectively you know, race against the clock to get over the line there. But here you are, you got through that, and you're going home with the trophy. Yeah, if he played a different shot when he was 20, I think he was 25 in front, if he just pushed the blue safe, and uh, I'd, have been, I'd have been definitely been out. But uh, yeah, these are the kind of things that happen during the shootout. It's an absolutely crazy format. And like you said, it's very difficult to win uh, seven matches. But at the end of the bit, somebody's got to do it. And, and absolutely delighted there's me. And against an opponent at the moment in Mark Selby, who is in red hot form, close to the Mark Selby of old. So that must make it all the more pleasing. Yeah, obviously, if, if I play Mark in a in a best of 11 or best of, uh, well, in a, in a final of a best of 17, Mark would be a lot stronger favourite to uh, to win than, than a shootout for him. Um, but having said that, he got uh, a couple of chances, went into the pack, it didn't get much luck, and then uh, I put a good red to start off and held myself together really well. And a third ranking title for you, your first since the Gibraltar Open in 2018. Um, great to be back on the winner's podium. Yeah, obviously. Um, uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a struggle really since um, since Gibraltar, and then obviously after Gibraltar, I went to Romania and won an invitation event there. So um, it's been a bit barren since, but uh, yeah, hopefully this is the start of better things to come. You mentioned that barren running on the uh, arena floor there. You were talking about the possibility of you know your form was not in a great place and you might even drop off the tour. Um, so this hopefully a catalyst for. Um, you know, a much brighter immediate future. Yeah, of course, it's going to take a bit of pressure off, uh, ranking-wise, um, with the uh, with a sort of like cut off after the World Championship. You need to be in the top 64. And if I had had a stinker of a back end of this season, there's potential I could have probably fallen out of uh, out of that 64 and off the tour. So um, yeah, you never know what this this win and the the, the sort of like ranking points might bring in the future. Um, it's definitely going to give me a little bit of confidence. Um, it's, it's not snooker as we know it, but it's, uh, it's still great to win and uh, I'm going to take a lot from it. What have you made of the changes in the arena this year? Of course, we'd love to have had a crowd there. You'll probably say now you're happy to play there without a crowd. Obviously, it's been very successful. But what have you made of all the intricacies that WST have put into the arena with the different sound effects and, and the lighting and so on? Yeah, since, well, it's not, it's not just this event. Um, since the start of the, the season, um, obviously the pandemic hit everybody and when we started back here um, I think it was last June I think um, and then they managed to get the World Championship on and then we've we've had a season in Milton Keynes but I think every player is so grateful for the for the work that World Snooker are doing and everybody else involved. With the trophy also comes the prize money of £50,000. You're also up to third, I believe, in the Victor European Series, which is obviously great. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, and, yeah. <laughs> and also, with the uh, the £50,000, uh, I hear it will uh, help go towards a purchase that uh, you've just made at home. Uh, tell us about that. Well, yeah, it will actually. Um, we, ha we haven't been able to go on holiday, obviously, and um, when the summer, so sort of like, or the, the weather turns and the it gets a bit better. We've been um, spending a lot more time in the garden. So on Friday, before coming up here, um, we visited a, uh, a place in Bridgend where I live and uh, purchased <laughs> purchased a hot tub that was a bit more expensive than I thought. So I'm um, just going to go a long way to paying for that. Well, enjoy the winnings. Enjoy the hot tub. And congratulations <laughs> again, Ryan. Thank you very much. Thanks. Cheers. All right. Uh, Ryan, can you take a seat here?